Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm just setting my timer to make sure I have enough time here because I don't like to go very long, but this is one that's going to take a little bit of time. Um, yesterday, there was an announcement that Adidas and Allbirds will be uh, coming together to work on decreasing the carbon footprint in the sneaker industry. And this is really important. Now, a lot of you guys who are in the sneaker community or sneaker culture or sneaker enthusiasts, you may not have heard of Allbirds, but Allbirds is a company that's valued at a billion dollars. A valuation does not mean profitability. It also doesn't mean that that's how much a company is making. So that's the first thing I want to get clear on this coming together of minds. Also, these things don't happen overnight. You can't assume that this is something that just started to take place. This probably began a year ago and there were conversations being held, but because COVID-19 really put a big dent into sneaker industry profits, this was expedited. And they decided to come together a little bit faster to create a product that is going to improve. Um, let me be fair and let me be honest. Let's go back to the beginning and let's go through every step because this is going to be detailed. I'm gonna try and get it done in about six, seven minutes. So. Let's do this. So all birds and Adidas are getting together. I wrote a book and the book is coming out hopefully on June 1st because I've added another chapter to it since I got this rough draft. So I'm hoping that happens. But in the book, there are two different sections. I, they're based on the website. So the articles are based on the website. But this coming together of Adidas and all birds was out of necessity for both companies. But it's not going to happen in this big, gigantic way. It's going to be kind of a chipping away at sustainability issues. What am I saying? All right. I feel like I'm in a class right now and I'm teaching, which is what I do anyway. So let's jump to it. Um, there's been a process in this whole thing. Adidas owns Reebok. Reebok created the first shoe that was USDA certified. So if you didn't know that, now you know I'm going to put a link down here in the description so you can click and go and look at that shoe and what I wrote about it. Now, that shoe was made of corn, cotton and corn, right? Now, Reebok also announced that they were working on a shoe made from castor beans, eucalyptus tree upper and bloom algae foam. This, po this post was written in December of 2019. It is May. This shoe description for the Reebok Grow looks curiously like the description for Allbirds' Tree Dasher. So what you have here is Adidas via Reebok potentially working on something that had a lot to do with the Tree Dasher from Allbirds. Now, Allbirds needed to and the reason Adidas is looking at sustainability because it needs to be looked at and it needs to be taken very seriously. So in the book, and I'm going to jump here and I'm not going to leave that on some kind of ad that's talking about milks. That's terrible. The um, what I wrote here on the Allbirds post was this. So there are two different things that I'm trying to accomplish here. Allbirds had to add a demographic. Allbirds is not a billion dollar company in revenue. It's a billion dollar valuated company. All right. You guys got that. Good. Um, in order to continue to grow, Allbirds needs to add a demographic. Allbirds only has five shoe styles. And those shoes are popular among a certain demographic. And I wouldn't say just white people. I would almost say venture capitalists and people in Silicon Valley because it's very uh, popular amongst people who are investors, which is why Allbirds was getting so much investment money in the first place because they do have a great concept. But is it something so different and creative that it should be valued at a billion dollars? Probably not, and it shouldn't be. And I could get into that by doing a little math, but that's not what I'm doing right now. All right. So when I wrote this, the company is performing admir admirably, but for it to compete long term, they have to add a new demographic and they can only do that through performance. So they created the Tree Dasher. All right. So Allbirds made the Tree Dasher um, recently. Reebok under Adidas created the cotton based USDA certified 75% sustainable shoe. And then they came back and did the grow, which is made out of eucalyptus, eucalyptus tree uppers and bloom algae foam. 
I can go into a Bloom conversation, but I won't. And the interesting thing is, I actually visited the Bloom facility, so you can look at this discussion on the YouTube station. I'll put the link up here. All right. Now, in the book, going into the book, in chapter 15, the chapter is called Sustainability and Sharing as Opportunity. And what I wrote here is that sneakerheads buy pairs, buy more pairs than the average consumer. While this is good for the bank accounts of brands, it's not good for the planet. The love of sneakers contributes to a heavy carbon footprint. Now, we have to go deeper into that, but I'm going to leave it right there in regard to sustainability. But sustainability is an opportunity for growth now, not an opportunity for growth for a company like, let's say, Nike. Nike doesn't care. Nike has the popular consumer. Adidas and Allbirds are looking at a consumer that's already involved in the digital economy and who's very thoughtful about their purchase decisions. Now, that's touchy for a reason, and the way I said that should give you pause, but it's the truth. All right, so we go back and we realize that Adidas and Allbirds are looking at creating a conversation around sustainability and creating a shoe that has zero impact. Um, and doesn't leave a carbon footprint. And that's a very good thing. But this is the most important aspect that I want to get into. And why is it that Adidas is doing this? And um, in the book, in chapter, let's see, chapter three, I wrote about the Adidas StockX IPO. And it made it into the book and it began as a post on the website. Now, I explained that last year, the Adidas IPO was the biggest drop in the sneaker industry. No one else talked about it, and it was extremely frustrating for me to recognize that the sneaker industry overlooks these really important events. So I wrote this post, and I gave these 10 reasons explaining why this was important. And now, I know you're like, well, what does the drop on StockX have to do with Adidas and Allbirds? All right. In the book, here's a chapter here, okay? And it says, according to StockX, now, let me actually go back. StockX is a private company. So they wrote this report, right? And I'm showing you this report as I scroll up and down. And it could be screwed. I'm not in a position to pull back the curtain on StockX. But to build a case why this collaboration between a brand and a third party site is so important, I made a few comments and predictions to create dialogue about why this was a very important drop, right? It's an all digital launch. When StockX and Adidas collab to create an all digital launch and it was a success, that was a harbinger. So if you're sitting in a class and I'm talking to you and I make this statement, you should be taking notes and saying, well, why was it a harbinger? Well, Adidas now has a retail play that doesn't involve working with brick and mortar stores. They could have sold 3,000 pair of shoes in three days with StockX. They only sold 999 pair, but they could have sold 3,000 pair. Now, in the book, I add a conversation on a recent StockX um, IPO with New Balance. Now, what does that have to do with Allbirds and Adidas? Now we're getting to the meat of it. Let's go backwards. Allbirds is a digitally native company. Allbirds has four stores. Allbirds does not sell on Amazon. Very smart. I love them for that. Allbirds is only available at Allbirds. There are, it's a digitally native company and Adidas is aligning with a digitally native company to build a shoe that's sustainable for a consumer who's more conscious about what they're buying. It's an in incredibly smart decision by Adidas and by Allbirds because Allbirds gets to grow exponentially by being attached to Adidas. Think about that because there's a lot of people that don't know about Allbirds, but Allbirds gets to grow by being attached to Adidas and Adidas gets the benefit of a consumer that understand the, understands the importance of the carbon footprint and basically the type of damage all of the sneakers that are being made by the sneaker industry. It's an incredible thing to look at and study, and I hope you guys pay more attention to it. You can pick up the book. You can go to the website. I'll put a link down here, too, where you can pick up the book, and I will see you guys on the next one. Have a fantastic weekend.